Hey there, hi, welcome to the channel. I am Garrett and in this video we are talking about my opinions on some of the best interior design trends of 2023. Now I don't recommend you jump on every trend just because it's out there, but if you see something that you like and works for you, I say go for it. We've got some things to talk about, so let's get into the video. Actually, before we get into the video, I wanna give a big thank you to today's video sponsor, Nuzzy. Now the Nuzzy is the iconic weighted blanket that I love so much because each one is made using over 500 recycled plastic bottles. They have a number of colors that will fit any and every home and every style, which I absolutely love. Now the Nuzzy's knit design means that unlike other weighted blankets, it's not just a sack full of beans. This open knit design means I can use the blanket year round and it helps me to temperature regulate so I don't get overheated and I'm not too cold. I absolutely love my Nuzzy because I get all of the benefits of a weighted blanket. Plus I love the knitted style. It's just an amazing feature to have in any home. Definitely check out my link in the description box down below and use 10 Le Chic for 10% off your order. Now let's talk about some interior design trends for 2023 and the first thing is one of them that I absolutely am loving and that's because I think 2023 will be the year of the lamp and that trend is lamps everywhere, teeny lamps, small lamps, battery operated lamps. I absolutely love them. I've recently been scrolling online on social media and I've been seeing so many amazing spaces that have lamps that I wouldn't expect them to be there. Like like kitchens and bathrooms. I think this is really cool because I love lamp lighting. I think it sets the mood, it sets a great tone, and it's very relaxing. I think it enhances a space because some spaces look really great in the daytime, some spaces look really great at lamp light. As a matter of fact, I have overhead lights in all of the rooms in my home, but I very seldom use them because I much prefer lamp lights because I think that they're just moodier, glowier, dimmer, and they don't provide a really harsh light, which I absolutely love. So I think lamps every where these little lamps, small lamps, every space in your home is going to be a huge trend for 2023. And it's something I really enjoy because some of these lamps are almost like night lights. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna link some options down below for some lamps and lighting that I love from Etsy and from my Amazon storefront. So be sure you head down below and check them out. A style that I think is going to become even more popular in 2023 that people will appreciate more and I absolutely love is cottage traditional. But I think a lot of people got away from traditional design because they felt modern was more in but right now we're seeing a transition back into that through this cottage style. I really like it because I love traditional design just like everything else and I think it's really highly detailed and gorgeous but the cottage aspect of this is going to be in the moodiness. We're seeing a lot of deeper, richer, darker tones and I think that is a really fantastic way to make traditional feel a little bit more modern and a little bit more vibey or aesthetic. This cottage traditional style is a great stepping stone back into some of those more traditional styles and I think if you like this cottage traditional style, definitely look for interesting lighting fixtures, things that feel modern or current, and then mixing in some vintage pieces as well so you get a really strong mix of things that feel current and updated to uplift some of the things that feel a little bit more traditional. Another huge trend for 2023 that I think is actually a really great one are built-in wall units, or I guess they won't be so much built in as they will be affixed to walls. These wall units provide a lot of organization and storage. They get things out of cabinetry, off of the floor, off of the walls, and you don't have to have a ton of stuff laying around because you have a lot of organization. I think these will become popular because they're not quite built in, but they're still affixed to a wall, which will work for a lot of renters and a lot of younger people. And I think that works out really nicely. I like these units because they provide a lot of storage you have drawers and shelves, but you also are getting a lot of visual interest because you can see a lot of things. We have a great opportunity for styling, for plants, for books, and all of that. I also really like that these units are big and bold. They take up a full wall, but you actually can see the wall through them so they don't feel heavy or dense and they feel very light and bright and fresh, but you still get all of the storage and organization of a much larger, bulkier piece. With the holidays and the new year coming, people are constantly asking me, Garrett, what do you want for Christmas? And let me tell you what, there's nothing in my life that brings me more joy than my husband and my dogs, of course, but also this channel and all of you. So the gift that you could give me is absolutely free and all it takes is hitting that subscribe button and joining the Chic family. And my gift back to you is an amazing, impactful, interesting, and useful video every week that I hope you will enjoy. So give the gift that keeps on giving and join the Le Chic family. Now that you've taken a moment and hit that subscribe button, let's talk about the next trend of 2023 that I absolutely love, and that is saturated earth 
tones. We love a neutral, we have for years, and we always will, and that's great because they're classic, but we also really love earth tones because they are really interesting. They can provide a very rich element to a space, but we are going to see these in much more saturated versions in the coming year, and I'm very excited about it. You know I love color, and I'm not afraid of it, but a lot of people don't always feel comfortable layering in a lot of color to a space, so these saturated earth tones have a very neutral feeling to them, but but they are a little bit more vibrant and rich. I want you to think moody and rich deep browns and greens and oxbloods, maroons and reds. These tones are really fantastic and can be great in any space throughout the year. I absolutely love these saturated earth tones because it's a stepping stone into color that a lot of people are not always comfortable with, but I absolutely love. So I love to see people branching out and broadening their horizons and bringing some color into the space. Another big trend or realization for 2023 is people are realizing the importance of wellness and self-care in their space and they're starting to understand that the space around you where you live and actually has a huge impact on your overall health. So people are starting to take into consideration what their space is actually making them feel like and how they're interacting with it and what it's doing for them not only physically but mentally. Your space can actually make a huge impact on your overall health and happiness and that is something we are really embracing in 2023 and I am so happy about. This can mean a lot of different things, one of which is the overall environment, the air quality and the lighting, all of that can have a big impact on your health and your mood, but also things like the scent of your home and even the humidity levels can make a big impact. All of that's worth considering, but also look for spaces in your home that are purely meant for relaxation. This is something we are going to see become huge and very popular, our relaxation specific spaces. Spaces for listening or playing music, spaces for sitting down and reading a book, and not just spaces that have a television or computers or are meant for working in. These spaces are for relaxation and I think this is really fantastic. If you want to incorporate this into your home, it works in any style. I absolutely love that, but look for a space that you can pull some of those things that are busy, electronics, and just things that remind you of having to get things done, all of that. You want a relaxation and a meditation space. I think this is fantastic and definitely look into incorporating some of these spaces into your home. Something that we always talk about on this channel because I'm very passionate about but is becoming a huge popular idea or trend for 2023 is sustainability. Now we talk about this every year and I think it's so important to bring it up because we really need to focus on sustainability in our homes and we can have a massive impact by doing that. Not only in our overall health and the earth's health, but it can actually benefit us in amazing ways. People are asking themselves, where is this made? How is it made? What's it made with? To determine the lifespan of that piece and how far it's traveled to get to you. All of this makes a big impact in sustainability and you can have a really gorgeous space that's completely uncompromising but is incredibly sustainable at the same time. I think this is really fantastic and something worth looking out for. The better quality pieces you buy, the longer they will last and the less likely they are to end up in a landfill. When I'm looking for pieces or furniture in my home, I always look for something that I really like now that I think will be timeless and that I will like for a long time, but that will be able to be used after I'm done with it, that I can sell or give away and that will have a life after I'm done with it. That is something to focus on in 2023 or whenever you are decorating your home because the longer something lasts, the less you'll have to repurchase it and the more money you will save, which of course I think is fantastic. Something I'm really noticing become popular and a lot of people talk about is actually nostalgia. We love looking back and remembering or taking a memory and bringing that into our space today. And I think nostalgic design is going to be extremely popular in 2023 because we all love a reference. We all love something that reminds us of a really good time or a special person in our life. So nostalgic design will definitely have that. We also just love an era like the 1960s are becoming so popular. And speaking of the 1960s and nostalgia design, did you all see the Trixie Motel series? I just watched it on HBO Max and I'm obsessed. I love it. I watched it twice. And as a matter of fact, I'm thinking I need to take a trip to Palm Springs to go stay at the motel. So definitely check out that series if you haven't already. Nostalgic design is incredibly personal.
personal and it also means that you will really love your space, that it will be very personal and you have a story associated with whatever that thing is. And that nostalgia can add to the personality of your space, which I think is fantastic and we could all use. Speaking of nostalgia, the past and things we love, one of the biggest trends I see coming for 2023 is actually vintage textiles. I love this because we all love a textile, we all love a blanket, a throw, a pillow, a rug of some sort, and we are going to see so many more vintage pieces becoming popular. Now we've always loved vintage rugs, and that's for sure, but vintage drapery and curtains, vintage quilts and blankets, throw pillows are going to become hugely popular, and I think that's really fantastic. As a matter of fact, my mom actually makes quilts. She's like, low-key kind of famous in her Facebook groups. And she actually won the state fair once. I have a quilt she made, it's not vintage. She actually made it as a wedding gift for my husband and I, but I absolutely love it. I'm gonna pull it out because I love that. It reminds me of my mom, of my family, of my wedding, I love that. So definitely look out for some vintage textiles because they really layer and bring something interesting to the space. You can actually find some really amazingly high quality drapes that are vintage that you can then have custom hem to fit your space and save a lot of money on custom drapery, which I I think is a fantastic little tip there. As a matter of fact, I'll link my favorite drapes for you that I think are a really good value for money in the description box down below. They're very custom, pinch pleats, everything, but they're white and nice and pretty. They're actually right behind me and they could be layered really beautifully with some vintage textiles. Also, if you see a great vintage textile that you really like, consider framing it as artwork. That's a great way to incorporate a really interesting element, something that has a little bit of history, some texture to it into your space, but you won't have to use it and then wear it out and then it ends up just getting thrown away, uh, whatever. I love a vintage textile because of the character and personality they can add to a space. Something I am noticing that I am seeing happen, whether that's in my personal life, on social media, or even that you are commenting on is intentional design. I love intentional design because there's no point in designing something that is not intentionally done, right? We want to have a reason we're doing something, but this intentional design I'm talking about is actually about your lifestyle and the way your home works for your lifestyle. And that can mean a lot of different things. Maybe you think you're gonna expand and have kids, so you look for a house, a home, a space that has room to expand. Or maybe it's the opposite. Your kids have now left and you're an empty nester and you have all of this extra space that you don't need. So we're seeing a lot of people that are either moving or renovating to suit their current lifestyle, but also give consideration to the future, like aging in place. This is something you all love when I comment on because it really is an overlooked area that people want to know more about, so they design their spaces intentionally and they do their homework and research. I recommend you do this for any and every space in your home. Think about what that space serves as now, what the future holds for it, or if it's convertible for use in another way. A great example of this is a dining room. For a long time, people had dining rooms and then now they kind of are getting away from it, but we're also seeing a rise of the dining room come back because we're really enjoying entertaining now that we live in a post-pandemic world, we're having people over, so we like those spaces. The entire point is don't feel obligated to make a space specifically what it's designated for. Just because that's what it says on a floor plan doesn't mean that bedroom can't be an office or a home gym. It doesn't mean that dining room can't be the kid's playroom. Do what you have to do to make your home work best for you, even if that means you look for another space or you renovate into it or you add some of those personalized features that would really benefit you. The next trend we have to talk about for 2023 is something pretty interesting and it's what people are calling biophilia. Now what does biophilia even mean? It is defined as the innate human instinct to connect with nature and other living beings. And yes, I do have a cheat sheet here in front of me. And what does all of that mean for you and your home? What that means is bring the outdoors in, bring some nature into the space. When we talk about biophilia, specifically what is being referenced are these spaces that have a lot of wood tones and natural elements, rich texture, plant life. This is really fantastic because we love to feel like we are a part of nature. It is a part of who we are as human beings. So bringing some of that into the space is really fantastic. If you like this biophilia style or design, look for adding a lot of different varied wood tones 
backgrounds into the space. Wood paneled walls and wood floors, caning, rattan, bamboo, and wicker. All of these have really fantastic textures that lead a space to feel very natural. Also look for those spaces, those informal areas of your home that connect right to the outdoors, that have big doors and windows that open up to let that fresh air in and allow you to actually access the outdoors from inside. Something like that we all love that connects the indoors and outdoors together. It can definitely get you that really natural feeling space. Bring some of that plant life indoors to really connect the outdoors and the indoors we love nature and it always makes a space feel more lived in, more relaxed and more comfortable. So definitely look at bringing some plants or some natural textured elements into your space. Well, there you have it everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure you let me know in the comment section down below and share with me what is one trend you are glad to see gone in 2023 and something you're really excited about. Share with me because I wanna hear from my subscribers. I also would love it if you took a moment and hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. I also know that you know someone that they are redecorating their home in 2023 and they could take advantage of some of these trends because they're actually very elegant, timeless, and chic. Share this video with them because friends help friends and I will see you in the next one.